lovely. It looks it looks nice that bit of yellow. I like it too. Mm, because it's it uh, nice. it's tying in with this green. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's helping a lot. See, this Very is kind of like what the adventure of painting, you know, is. I probably knew in the back of my mind what this yellow would do to the sky, but initially I just put it in as kind of a fix for this, you know, that blue not blending in with the sky blue. But sometimes you have, you know, the more you paint, the more you paint, the yeah. more knowledge you acquire, the more yeah. experience your brain takes in. And in a weird way, <laughs> in a weird way, while that's happening, you're also getting older. But as you get older, your brain ends up like a really cluttered closet. And it'll tuck <laughs> things away where you can't consciously remember stuff. But mm. it's in there somewhere. So yeah. the more you paint, the more experience gets tucked away inside your brain somewhere. And then as you're painting, you can just like make a decision on the fly that's not completely conscious. Okay. But you make the decision and, you know, sometimes you make a decision and you're like, oh, that didn't work very well. <laughs> but yeah. more, the more you pay, the more decisions you'll be able to make that'll be like, oh, I wonder if I do this, what will happen? And you'll be like, oh, that looks pretty good. You know, so you, you just can't be afraid to just try something. Yeah. Because the more things you try, the more experience you're gaining and it's getting tucked away into your into your brain for future use. So that's probably what this yellow in the sky was. I knew I've added yellow to skies before with success. And as a side effect, it's also tying in with the green on the bird and looking really good. So my mm -hmm. brain probably knew that somewhere. Maybe as I go down... Oops, I was going to say, Rich, it could also be that you have a gift <laughs> for this and a, a real talent. Yeah, but you know what? That A friend of mine, one of my best clients and good friends, gave me this plaque. I'll show you this plaque. I have it hanging over here. That This is, uh, you, you, you said about a gift? You read that? Yes. Yeah. The artist is nothing without the gift, but the gift is nothing without the work. Very well put. <laughs> That's it in a nutshell. You got to do mm. the work. Absolutely. And personally, but I would define gift as the, the desire to do the work. That's what I would define gift. Because, you know, like Sheila knows that she was showing me the drawing. She has that drawing on the right side of the brain book. She was showing me that yeah. earlier. And anybody can learn this stuff this is not some kind of secret you know mystical knowledge anybody can learn it but you have to want to do it you know what i mean it's like i i have a phrase i have a phrase that i like to use it's called desire and persistence it's what you know like anybody can do this if they if they have desire and persistence they've got to want to do it and then they got to do it you know, so that's where I think, you know, people call it, say, talent. It's just that, like, when young, you know, the young kids, everybody, every child draws. Every child draws. But the mm -hmm. children who kind of, like, draw something and then they, they get excited about it or they notice something that looks really good and they get excited about it and then they want to do more of it, you know, or they really enjoy it. And they're learning just by the doing. Yeah. And as they learn, they get better. And then people around them start saying, oh, they have talent. <laughs> it's just that they, they wanted to do it, and so they did it, and they kept doing it. They kept doing it, so they got better. Yeah. And, you know, the younger you start, you know, the more talented you are. <laughs> my my seven-year-old granddaughter, I think because I draw, she draws. Yeah. And I take photographs, you know, and, and share them with my daughter-in-law, who shares them with the seven-year-old, because the seven-year-old obviously doesn't have a phone. And um, I had done a painting of some flowers that I didn't really like. 
and I redid it. And I don't think I ever said anything to Hannah about it other than her mom showed her the second one and she said she got the light right in that one. Oh, how lovely. Yeah. Oh, and so chills because it was like, oh my gosh, that child is now looking at the light. <laughs> exactly. That's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, you know, you just well, have to expose them to it and yeah, exactly and t talk about it. And, you know, like my kids also both have talent, if you want to call it that. Yeah. You know, they have the ability. I, I sent them to art classes, so they learned all the basic stuff and they can both draw. My daughter actually just did a mural at, uh, you know, I'm going to call this just about done, but I want to talk about uh, my daughter just did a mural. She showed me a photos of this mural she did and uh she's she's got an internship in some some place that does like after school activities with high school kids or whatever and um yeah. she did this mural on the wall and it's super cool it's like nothing that you know it's nothing that i would do it's completely different style it's more like graphic it's got flat colors but it's so well designed <laughs> and, and the yeah. colors are beautiful together they're a little bit unusual and it's very well drawn and it's you know i was very impressed i said man you know you could you could just freelance that and make extra money just being a mural <laughs> artist yeah yeah and uh you know you so must be very proud and then yeah. my son can draw you know I've, i still have some drawings that he did hanging up in my house when he did in high school and stuff uh, but he's got the computer brain too you know I, I think it's really important that that kids grow up learning both yeah because it keeps their brain balanced you know, to be able to understand things. Anyway, I would take them, like, I would take my kids to Hobby Lobby when I would, back when I used to buy Hobby Lobby frames <laughs> for everything. Yeah. And I'd take a painting, and I'd take it with me, and I'd, and I'd uh, you know, be looking at the frames, and I'd get their opinions, and they were only, like, this tall. And I'd be like, what do you think, kids? Do you think I should get, do you think it looks better with this frame or with this frame? And, you know, usually they would pick yeah. the one that I kind of thought in the back of my head already looked better, you know? They'd be like, yeah. I like that one better. Like, yeah, I think you're right. I think if they're surrounded by us doing art, it does go in. It really, um, they, they're learning from watching what we're doing. And my son paints and he's a photographer and does a, a beautiful photograph. So he's got that art as well. Yeah. So I get him to help me a lot. It's like if I finish a painting, because I paint every day as well, and I'll get him to come through and have a look and, if I think something's a bit off, I'll say, can you have a look? And he'll often say, yeah, that's not quite, you know, this or that. And he's, he's a big help. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Yeah, my husband, on the other hand, he'll say, uh, if I show him anything, he'll say, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> same tone, same words every time. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> could be the best thing I've ever done. Oh, that's nice. Could be the worst thing I've ever done. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, well.